Hey, yo, what's up, guys? It's been some time for sure. I've been out of the YouTube realm for some time. I gotta admit, it was pretty nice. It was pretty nice taking a little bit of a break, but there's been a really good reason why. There's actually been two really good reasons why. The first one is, as I've mentioned on the video before, I'm gonna become a dad. So with that, there's been a lot of stuff that, it, there's a lot more responsibilities that I started to take. I started trying to get a little bit of extra cash, so you guys know the hustle has been real with that. And for me, I've done YouTube for some time, and it doesn't get me any kind of money that I would consider even for my daily expenses. So if you guys please go ahead and subscribe and definitely press that like button that would definitely contribute to me making more videos if you guys like the content let me know down there but i started doing some side hustles i started ubering on the side so that has really helped out my income surprisingly especially since i have a, a decent enough car i have a tesla and if you guys want me to post a video about that of how much money i'm making with the tesla and how it is to drive a tesla whilst doing uber let me know in the comment section below i'd really like to hear about that but it's 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 been pretty profitable to say the least. So I've been picking up those side hustles for that exact reason, you know, need a little bit of extra income, need the GoFundMe for, for my little girl. So it's gonna be a girl. So yeah, I need the, the personal GoFundMe for Rottweilers, tasers, guns, barbed wires. All you men know what's going on. So that's been keeping me pretty busy and also just everyday work and some other stuff that I've been going, uh, that I've been doing on the side. Also, I lost somebody very close to me. I lost my mom not too long ago. So it's been a little bit hard to kind of come back to YouTube and kind of get my gears going again. It, it's been, it's been rough. It almost felt like pandemic 2.0 where, you know, when we were in the pandemic, it was a little bit hard to kind of get back into the daily routine since we were locked up for some, so long. It kind of felt like that a little bit, you know, it kind of felt like trying to get my gears back going properly and everything was, was just not happening on a daily basis. So I finally, I think I, I got up to, to speed, um, a little bit more and I feel like me again a little bit, you know, still missing that that part in here um but i guess it's never really left you know so that that's also been out there that's also been one of the reasons why i've been out but that doesn't mean i haven't been doing anything so along with the preparation of getting ready for the for the baby she's my wife is doing one month so that's that's pretty awesome so i'm gonna be on baby leave from work so i've been getting that prepped up the uber side and as far as the training side this is where it's gotten a little bit interesting so as you guys know i like to do uh, marathon running, I like to do Muay Thai, I like to do weightlifting and Olympic lifting, how it's called here in the US. But basically I consider bodybuilding and weightlifting, which should be Olympic lifting, some of the stuff that I like the most. I like Olympic lifting a lot. And I've had this little kind of thing inside of me that's been tearing me apart for the past couple of months. And it's been the dichotomy of being a runner, being a Muay Thai fighter, and being an Olympic lifter, not weightlifting, Olympic lifting, which once again, everywhere around the world is called actually weightlifting. Whenever I run, I notice that I lose considerable amount of strength. However, if I prioritize strength, I actually become a better runner, but it is a lot harder on my joints. So it is a crazy dichotomy of, okay, if you wanna become a runner, let's say I wanted to run a full marathon or something like that, it helps me to run more and expand my tank for sure however it kills my olympic lifting by prioritizing running but if i prioritize olympic lifting and i try running my speed actually increases because of the power and the endurance that i get however my joints start to take a beating and i feel it over time in my knees and stuff like that and so i have to kind of like dial back on the olympic lifting and i lose strength because of that however my best running has been done in conjunction with olympic lifting like heavy olympic lifting i'm not talking about just regular 135 cleans power cleans for for three sets of two you know like or something like that no it's like me picking up above 225 and doing snatches that's where my best running has been. I did a half marathon, I believe. The best half marathon that I've done was for an hour 53, which is not great per <laughs> world standards, but it was great for me. It was a great little thing. And that was my first half marathon that I did. So I was super happy to be able to get those numbers. And I did it, like I said, with con in conjunction with Olympic lifting. And everything subsequently after that kind of went a little bit downhill because I stopped the Olympic lifting. And so I was able to see the loss in power that pop in my running. And as far as the Muay Thai goes, Again, I can definitely see the transfer of power that Olympic lifting gives me 
especially on my punches on my straight punches i'm a i'm a southpaw so i'm left-handed so whenever i punch i really feel the power if i'm doing olympic lifting and again if it's heavy olympic lifting i just feel different but again the joints take the beating and so it becomes a really hard little dichotomy of how much olympic lifting should i do versus how much muay thai and here is what i've kind of come up to within the past couple of i guess you can say within the last month i'm 31 years old now i have a limited amount of time to have my maximal power output i'd say that most people peak anywhere from 35 to 36 they are done with their maximal power production unless you're on trt or you're lu Zhao jung so if you're in the olympic lane if you're in the olympic lifting sporting world you'll know who i'm talking about but he's basically one of china's gold medalists uh he is a beast but as of lately you can definitely see the pictures of him having lost some some weight because he took an entire year off and uh, a lot of people are now saying uh <laughs> do you even lift bro <laughs> um he looks he just looks i'll let you guys see the comparison pictures i'll post them up right now it looks like he has never lifted on his life but that also brings up the steroidal question of things which hey i'm not even gonna get on that one but some stuff is starting to look pretty obvious right now um <laughs> so like i said i have a limited amount of years to know my maximal power production and as far as cardio goes i think i could i could definitely say on the marathon world it's a lot more cardio based i have time to go ahead and do those i can definitely start doing some marathons when i'm a little bit older 36 40 ish you know like i can definitely keep on beating that to the ground and and i'll and i'll be perfectly fine i'll be okay with that but right now i want to discover my true limit of my power and i've always loved olympic lifting so i think it's i'm i'm going all out on olympic lifting i haven't done this for some time but i think i want to get to a competition in olympic lifting and i want to see what i'm capable of doing so for the past month i've been training like a madman in olympic lifting in a smart way but i've been training like a madman and my numbers are starting to go up i'm i'm, I'm very happy the goal is to get to a clean and jerk of 315 um 315 pounds by the end of this year well a clean a uh, jerk <laughs> uh it, it'll it might get there might not get there i'm okay if it happens but i'm not expecting it's a pretty ambitious goal even the amount of, of weight that i'm, I'm putting on We're, we'll try to aim for that 315 and so far i'm doing pretty good i got to 275 already it's an extra 10 pounds of my one rip max i wasn't expecting it i was really happy when i when i did it and i think i still got some left over in the tank so i think i'm going to be able to even up that by an extra 10 pounds quite easily easily very soon but I've been working a lot on technique my clean and jerk has been getting a lot better and so on that side um, we're getting close to that goal already and we're at mid-august almost end of august so super happy with that and as far as snatching goes that's also been progressing a lot too I've been I've been seeing a lot of progress I've been working on my snatch in a different way though I've been hyper focused on a lot of the stuff that I never learned from my previous coaches on Olympic lifting I've been focusing on like snatch pulls, just really, really good movements that are going to get my snatch in a way better position. That way I'm more reliant on technique than I am on raw strength. And I'm also doing that on my clean, my clean and jerk, but I feel like my clean and jerk comes a little bit more natural than my snatch. And so on, on my snatch, I've been hyper focused. Like it, it's been laser focused every time I go into the gym. So I'm super happy that both of those are progressing. In the snatch, I want to potentially get to a 225, which is 245s on each side. I'll be very happy if I get to that. Right now it's at 205, 205 pounds for my snatch. And I wanna see where that gets me, you know? Again, I wanna go ahead and compete. I wanna do um, at least little league people level, you know, kind of stuff. But I definitely wanna see as far uh, where I'm gonna be able to push that. Do expect the channel to go in that direction. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of those, a, a lot more videos where I show what training I'm doing, how much training I'm doing, what are the exercises that I'm doing, and what programs I'm gonna follow. Cause I will be following some programs from some well-known uh, instructors and i'll be happy to post those up i'll be happy to post some of that stuff up obviously not disclosing their stuff because they got to make a living and stuff like that but i'm gonna be doing some videos with some of the guidance that they may give me and i'm gonna be working in collaboration with some other people and see what they have to offer and if they're okay with me posting the stuff up here i'll be more than happy to show you guys maybe you guys can get some guidance in the olympic lifting world if you guys are looking forward to maybe getting into it i know it's becoming a very popular sport here in the u.s as of recently because of crossfit so CrossFit, yay, giving people in the Olympic realm some more exposure. As far as Muay Thai, I'm going to be bringing the Muay Thai down. I think Muay Thai is like the one thing that
that I'm going to be keeping every now and then. I'm going to be still doing some sessions with my trainer, but it's going to be a lot, little bit more boxing intensive. I'm going to be focusing more on my punches and how to develop those a little bit better. I've been decent with my kicks, but I know that's going to bring uh, a lot of strain to my knees. I'm going to lay off of it uh, for a little while or at least until my tendons get really up to date with what I'm doing with my Olympic lifting, that if I put a little bit more strain on them, they'll be able to recover enough. But at the moment, it's still to be seen. Olympic lifting takes priority running right below it just for conditioning you know just that mile or two every day at a very very slow pace just to get that tank build up and muay thai on the back burner just because of the impact it requires again i'll be posting a lot of the training that i'm doing on the on my instagram but i think i might be i might be getting rid of my instagram let me know what you guys think about that uh, down below i might be getting rid of instagram it's it's become very cumbersome i barely get any exposure from it and there's a lot of things that there's a lot of issues that i have with instagram at the moment so i'll let you guys know if i'm getting rid of that and my facebook and my twitter even uh, and i'll just keep it here on the youtube channel but that's still to be seen but do stay tuned guys for the next video i'm gonna be making one on my supplement regimen what i'm doing um, as far as supplements go and why I'm doing it it's becoming a really big part of my everyday and like I said before in many other uh, many of my other videos supplements are like that one two three extra percent at the moment I think that one two extra percent will compound over time massively do not expect anything massive but do expect something to happen it's just like brushing your teeth every day sounds minimal but at the end of one year trust me your teeth will look way better than if you didn't brush at all so stay tuned for that video guys but in any case thanks for joining me on another episode of safe experience hope you guys like this video tap that like button it does not cost you anything other than a quick click subs if you loved it and i'll be seeing you guys on the next video zade out peace